Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Just to preface this video in War Thunder, uh, I have a bit of a throat issue. So, just imagine me shouting through this video uh, about everything that I'm going to talk about, uh, because this is probably one of the aircraft that has been added into the game that I'm most disappointed about. We have the Lincoln B Mark II. It is a British bomber, uh, post-World War II, uh, rank 4, battle rating 6.0. It's a wonderfully large four-engine bomber, uh, with a very good speed of nearly 500 kilometers an hour. So, and uh, in a dive you can even get it to 550 without it really caring about it. Uh, it's incredibly maneuverable. It has two Hispanos in the dorsal turrets, in the front turret 250s, and in the back turret 250s. You even have some great, uh, great belts for that. For the 20mm, you have the uh, universal belt, AP Heffy Heffy. That's going to put a lot of holes in aircraft that's going to come at you. Uh, the 50 cals, you have the universal belt, API, 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 T. So that's going to do a lot of damage as well, uh, which is great. So even though you only have four of the 50 cals, uh, which, you know, is kind of a shame. It's nothing on something like a B-29 or a B-17G. You do have the two Hispanos. If you want to attack the Lincoln B Mark II, then you attack it from the side or below it from the front. Uh, the back turret is very much like the Wellington one, where it can nearly shoot uh, 90 degrees downwards. So uh, it's better to attack from the front or from the side if you're able to, and uh, obviously from below, so the Hispano can't hit you. It doesn't seem to have really any depression at all. Uh, when we look uh, from the X-ray point of view, this thing doesn't... Uh, sorry, the armor point of view, it doesn't really have a lot of armor. This is not something like uh, the... Uh, A26B that I talked about the other day. Uh, it's very easy to uh, unbalance it, so shooting off or just shooting the left side of a wing. It seems to not do too badly on two engines as long as it's once again not unbalanced. Uh, this thing is made of fuel, uh, so <laughs> uh, if you shoot it in the wings it will at least uh, flood, flood the uh, flood everything full of fuel, but uh, I haven't really had any issues with fires when it comes down to us. So, uh, that's the general points about the Lincoln. Let's talk about why I'm incredibly disappointed. And it's not really down to the plane. The plane itself is actually really fun to fly. The fact that it's incredibly maneuverable, it reminds me of the old B-17s where uh, you could just flip them all over the place. The Lincoln, you can do that now uh, with, uh, with something maybe even bigger than a B-17. What disappoints me is, once again, Gaijin gets bomb loads wrong on British aircraft. The Mosquitoes we have in game have the wrong bomb load. The Lancasters, also. The Sterlings, also. And the Halifax, awful. But at least you can argue that most of those vehicles have their maximum bomb load of generally 14,000 pounds. Then you can go into the, uh, into the idea of maybe you can give them their overweight bomb loads up to 22,000 pounds, which, you know, uh, is completely fine. But the Lincoln doesn't even have its maximum bomb load. It has exactly half of it. If you find a common trend with most British aircraft, what you will find is they are generally made, at least the four engine ones, they're generally made to the specification of carrying up to 14,000 pounds. It is something that is key when we look at the Halifax, the Lancaster, the Stirling, the Manchester. All of these things were generally designed to carry around that amount. And the Lincoln was as well. And what we get in game is pitiful. We get half. We get seven thousand uh, pounds. You start off with fourteen two fifties, which is pretty good, but not enough to kill a base uh, at six point zero, which is annoying as hell. Then you get fourteen five hundreds, which is pretty good. There's your seven thousand pounds mark. And then you have the uh, latest. Uh, tier, which is 6,000 pounders, 
which is obviously £6,000. I have no idea why you would even bother unlocking the MBC Mark III, which gives you the installation of the £1,000. Maybe you want to go absolutely psycho at 6.0 uh, in ground forces and try and take out six tanks while you have stuff like Kugel Blitzes firing at you. But in all intents and purposes, you want to take the 14500s, no matter what you're doing. And I don't know whether they've just screwed up here and uh, screwed up what that should say, but in my opinion, uh, that should be sick. That should be 14,000 pounders. Or it should be. Uh, it should be. What's the word? Like, if we look at the Lancaster, right? Like, the Lancaster has the 14,000 pounders bomb load. It actually has its. Uh, you know, it, it's an average bomb load, you would say. Not it, not its maximum, because we know that it could carry some very specific bombs, which were a hell of a lot bigger. Uh, so it has that bomb load. But the Lincoln, which is higher BR than this, which uh, I suppose is slightly faster, a little bit more maneuverable, and of course it's got the Hispano turret, which helps it out, but it's also a, a hell of a bigger target. It doesn't even get, uh, well, it gets exactly half that bomb load at 14,500 pounds. I, I don't know if, if somebody's just screwed up that 6,000 pounds number and it's supposed to say 14,000 pounds, because 6,000 pounds or 7,000 pounds is not adequate. You want to compare it to other planes? The Lancaster. The Lancaster has double its bomb load. You want to look at the B-24, a very comparable aircraft, uh, that also has 8,000 pounders, right? So that already has more than it. Uh, the B-29 at 6.3, eight 2,000 pounders. Okay, so we're looking at 16,000 uh, pounds worth of bombs. B-17G at 6.0 as well. Uh, we have four 2,000s or 8,000 pounders. So that's 1,000 pounds more. And obviously we're not even taking into account defensive armament at this point. The Germans do not have a uh, anything at 6-0 or around there. The Russians did have the Tu-4 there, but the defensive armaments were seen as too much, and now they're stuck with Tu-2s. And even Tu-2s in their current state can carry uh, 2,000 kilos worth of bombs, which is about 5,500 pounds. So, nearly as much as the Lincoln. The only thing that it's better than, of course, is the uh, Japanese. Because, well, the Japanese get three 800 kilos, which is, what, 2,400 uh, kilos, so maybe around uh, just above 5,000 again. So, even then... Uh, you know, it, it's not that much difference. And the Lincoln, apart from apart from its bomb load, really doesn't have a ton going for it. It's got decent maneuverability. It's got okay speed. And it's got okay armament. I would still take a B-29 or something like that over this. I would still take most planes at this BR over this, because its bomb load is so pitiful. When we look at it, what are you going to do with that? Especially when you're majority, the majority of the time you're on Hokkaido and you're facing Americans who have B-29s who are just better than you. Because of the 6-0 battle rating as well, you will face a lot of jets in this thing. Just because of once again being limited to uh, having four bombers, uh, four bombers a match, you will get boosted up into matches quite a lot instead of going down because most people while playing Britain will play you know the Lancasters and stuff at that tier so they'll get into those matches the B-29 is so much faster as well than the Lincoln and everything uh, but anyway so you'll get boosted up into a lot of matches the good thing about being around 6-0 uh, and being boosted up is that in a lot of matches you will actually have Spitfire F Mark 24s and the early Meteors uh, looking at the Meteor F Mark III, which are generally pretty good against their American counterparts, which you will be playing against over and over and over again. The F-84B, if 
flown by a competent pilot who has understood that the Lincoln was released in the last update and still getting an airspawn from it will come straight at you at 4000 meters after his getting his airspawn and will chew you to mincemeat. So that is something to think about. <laughs> but even though it has some good stuff going for it, calling it a heavy bomber is just a joke when it only has 7,000 pounds worth of bombs, especially if you want to compare it to what it was like in real life. The fact that it could carry up to 14,000 pounds on its normal, everyday bomb load. And then you could even throw in, as I said, the larger stuff that it could carry. Just remember that if you felt like it, in the Lincoln Mark B. If you're talking about 14,000 pounds, that's what it could carry in its internal bomb bay, right? That's what it could carry in its internal. And then you've got external stuff that you could throw on top of it if you really felt like it. But no, in-game we're limited to 7,000 pounds. And that's it. To be quite honest, in a lot of the games I've actually played in this thing, I've been left alone. Uh, because maybe people don't see it as a threat, or maybe they look at the Hispano and get worried. Uh, but it, it seems really odd that people kind of leave this thing alone. And I generally think, if I see a Lincoln in the air, and there is other stuff around, such as fighters like Spitfire F Mark 24s and Meteors, you goddamn right I'm gonna go after the Spitfires and the Meteors. Because the Lincoln doesn't have a bomb load that's gonna cripple me. That's the issue with the B-29 at this BR. It does have a bomb load that can cripple me. If B if four B-29s get through, and they destroy all your bases and then go after the airfield, then you're going to die. If, if four Lincolns do that, nothing's going to happen because they don't have the f they don't have the bomb load to uh, to be able to do what the B29 does so i'm not too worried about the lincoln it's also as i said incredibly easy to shoot down it has the wonderful feature of most british bombers where if you shoot it in the tail the tail will generally come off because there is no uh, armor really there apart from on the gunner who is sat there and also as i said because it's so big unbalancing it by hitting a wing is uh, generally catastrophic to us. Something else is the fact that because it's so big, AA loves to shoot at it and loves to hit it. Uh, I haven't actually been pilot knocked by AA yet, but I have been massively unbalanced by them taking out engines and uh, hitting wings that it's, I can't recover and I just go into a, st a steady downward swell and die. Is it nice to see another British bomber in game? It is. I was very happy when they added the Halifax. The Halifax is one of my favourite planes of World War II, an unsung hero. The Lincoln is a plane that was made after World War II and already basically out of uh, commission before it was introduced. What I would like to see, personally, is a focus... Oh, the Hampton as well. Seeing the Hampton was great. Another bomber which was featured in World War II and actually had a nice role. What I would like to see is a focus on bombers which would actually be useful. And if you want to put in bombers like the Lincoln, give it the historical bomb load so it can actually be what it wants to be. Give it the Lancaster bomb loads. They could, they could carry the same damn thing, so why not just give it the Lancaster bomb load? It makes no sense to me. But what would be nice to see? I'd love to see the the uh, Whitley, the uh, Whitley bomber, uh, which would be a tier one, uh, even worse than the Hampton bomber. But uh, there's a lot of stories I can talk about with uh, with that thing that I'd love to talk about. The Manchester, basically a Lancaster uh, bomber with two engines. Uh, it was lovely to see the Sterling added in game. And it would be nice to see the Manchester as well. There is a ton of other bombers which look very similar to a lot of other British bombers. And, you know, since uh, over this past year, we've had a lot of additions to the British bomber line. We've got the Hampton, the Sunderland, uh, the Halifax, the Stirlings, the Extra Lancaster, uh, and now we have the Lincoln. So it's nice to see it beef out a lot, but just... 
be honest <laughs> with it. Give the Lincoln its actual bomb load. Don't, you know, pussyfoot around the idea. There is no reason for it to not have its proper bomb load. And I'm sorry I can't shout and have the microphone go crazy, but my throat is hurting a hell of a lot. So, unfortunately, I have to leave this here. Uh, I hope this gives you the majority of my thoughts on the Lincoln. Overall, nice to see it in game. Give it its damn bomb load. And that's about it. I'll see you next time.